Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we have a watch jointly created by two superstars of the modern watch industry. That would be Max Busser and Peter Speak Marin. Oddly, this watch watch isn't branded with either of their names. This is the Harry Winston a Project Z, Z3 Ocean Tourbillon. It came out, as you see it here in Zalium in 2010, in a limited edition of 50 pieces. Now, the watch is 44 millimeters in a zirconium aluminum alloy created by Harry Winston itself that is called Zalium. It is very hard hypoallergenic, extremely resistant to corrosion, and fairly light in the hand. The timepiece, 44 millimeters in diameter, is 14.6 millimeters thick, and from lug tip to lug tip, the distance across the wrist is 52 millimeters. This is a watch whose initial variant came out in rose gold back in 2006. The version you see here, which is sometimes described as the Ocean Tourbillon, Z3 Sports Spirit variant came out in 2010 at Basel World. On my wrist, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see the watch takes up all of the real estate available. There is no space left. Well, it's not super thick, it is super broad, and the strap is quite stiff. So your wrist is gonna need to be 16 centimeters circumference or larger to wear this watch. That said, they don't short you the rubber with this vulcanized rubber strap. It is very, very substantial and has every indication of being a strap that should last you a decade. There is a little bit of articulation to the lugs, though not a whole lot. And then we have this pyramid pattern on the top as well as the shuriken, which is the modern day symbol of Harry Winston watchmaking under Max Booster. You can see the shuriken again. It's the shape of the tourbillon cage. The Harry Winston strap is a factory piece and brand new. And we have a matching satinated Zolium pin buckle. The timepiece is in good taste with everything set and polish on a watch this large and stark would have been a little bit overbearing, so only the fixing bolts for the lugs are polished. Everything else is satinated. You can see we have the arch style motif doubling as the crown guard. That's designed to remind you of the ancestral Harry Winston flagship store in New York City, which has these arches over its entranceway. And then we have a serrated Harry Winston branded crown that is a screw down. It, remarkably for a high horology watch from a super luxury brand, this is 100 meters water resistant, so you can and probably should enjoy it in the water. Now on the dial side, there's a lot to take in. The first thing we'll look at is the luminescence. The watch is very well loomed, being water resistant automatic Zalium and well loomed. It is a real sports watch, an attempting alternative to a Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore from the same period. Now we have this lovely dark coating on Cote de Genève used on the dial side, an unconventional treatment. The blue is described as petrol blue. The tourbillon isn't coy about its secrets. Here you can see tourbillon 110 hours, and indeed this twin barrel movement does have a 110 hour automatic winding power reserve. We have a one minute tourbillon and a hidden power reserve indicator, a little Harry Winston Sapphire window will turn bright blue when the watch is down to its last 25 hours of power reserve. Take a look at this mounting plate, this upper bridge for the tourbillon. It's all steel, spectacularly black polished. It's beveled along its edges in exquisite fashion and the same treatment, black polishing and beveling has been applied to the central bridge for the tourbillon. The tourbillon includes both polished and fire blued screws. We have polished screws mounting the upper bridge and if you look at has wonderful depth. It is a hypnotic rotating escapement. And what's fascinating here is that this movement started its life as an STT 13.75 tourbillon caliber that Peter Speakmarin, the great British watchmaker, 
turned into the 2005 X-Center manual-wide tourbillon for Harry Winston. Well, for 2006, there was another revision. The STT, as massaged by Speak Marin, was upgraded to include automatic winding for the sports watch application. So this has a true high horology pedigree with the Speak Marin lineage. Now, the watch has a relatively high beat rate for a tourbillon, 4 hertz, which is particularly well-suited to a sports watch because concussions and jolts are less likely to throw the timing of a high beat escapement. Taking a look at the reverse side, you can see that Project Z has been cut into the rotor. The rotor is exquisitely satinated with mirrored interior beveling and then mirrored exterior beveling. We have both black polished and fire blued screws on the reverse side with an anthracite coating on the bridges, which themselves have a lovely Cote de Genève striping and then mirrored anglage of the highest standard. We have engine turning on the base plate. You can see that the undercarriage or the lower bridge for the tourbillon is ex exquisitely decorated with black polish beveling and even uh, pointed bevels, which are hard to execute. This is as good as the dial side of the watch. My favorite element is that they've actually capped part of the reduction system for the winding mechanism with a black polished steel cover and then a lovely white gold jewel, or I should say white gold jewel setting is used as we have a pocket watch style chaton holding the arbor of one of the main spring barrels and fixed by blued screws the way things would have been done in the pocket watch era and the spectacular engine turning on the outer face of the rotor a very 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 special movement that started as the stt 13.75 manual wind it is now the Harry Winston HW401A, and it is a gem. This watch has everything to offer from an impeccable pedigree, considering who was behind Harry Winston watchmaking. Max Booser pre MBNF was quarterbacking all of these watches, whether they were Prestige, uh, Project Z, or Opus series. And of course, with watchmakers like Speak Marin involved under the table, uh, it really doesn't get any better. And in fact, it wasn't that under the table as it mentions Speak Marin on. On the winding bridge of the movement. So reach out to Tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.